Hi, everybody. Pastor Andrew DeGelder here again with the Wednesday Word. I'm here at home on the second floor of our house, and hopefully you could see the branches out there of the maple tree that we have on the front, and the fact that there's finally some leaves that are showing up on those branches. So this past weekend was the May long weekend, and I don't know what your plans were for the weekend, but in our home, it was supposed to be a work weekend. So Saturday, we took everything out of the garage, we swept it, we cleaned it up, got it organized, and we figured out what in the garage can we give away, what in the garage should we throw away. Then Sunday was a day of worship and rest, and then Monday, we were going to get to the outside, cleaning up the lawn and the gardens. It really didn't work out that way, though, because Monday was rainy and cloudy and gloomy and it just ended up being an inside kind of day. You know, it's hard when the weather doesn't cooperate with your plans. But I was reminded today of how rain in the Bible is often portrayed as a blessing. Like here in Acts chapter 14, this is when Paul and Barnabas are in the Greek city of Lystra, which is in modern day Turkey today. They are explaining how uh, the God of the universe has made himself known to all people through what we would call today general revelation. So Paul is speaking in verse 17, and here's what he says. He has not left himself without testimony. He has shown kindness by giving you rain from heaven and crops in their seasons. He provides you with plenty of food and fills your hearts with joy. Well, I wasn't feeling very joyful on Monday as my plans for the day got disrupted. And in fact, over these past 10 weeks or so, things have been really difficult. I had plans for preaching and for worship services that never came to fruition. Carrie Ann and I were hoping to host a marriage course at the church this spring, and that didn't happen. Our son Peter was supposed to go to Nicaragua on a mission trip, and it still remains to be seen what's going to happen with that. There's been a lot of disrupted plans. There's still a lot of ambiguity even now as Ontario starts to open up. People don't know what's going to be possible, when certain things are going to happen. And yet, you know what? When I look around at what's going on outside, I have to agree with Paul that God has shown kindness to the world. And he continues to show his kindness to the world in ordinary things like rain rain that comes on a long weekend and ruins plans, but which makes things beautifully green. Rain that causes leaves to grow on trees and seeds to sprout and then grow into crops that we will then harvest and enjoy. Even when it looks like God is inconveniencing us, good things are still somehow happening. We are still being provided for and we still have reasons for joy. I'm sure we'll get to that yard work eventually. But in the meantime, God is still good, and it is getting beautifully green out there. That's the Wednesday word for this week. See you next time.